Hi, and welcome to the first AutoCAD Map 3D 2008 training course. I'm Gary Morin, and over the next few weeks, I will be showing you the ins and outs of AutoCAD Map. This series of training courses are designed for people with some AutoCAD experience. They're designed for people who are new to AutoCAD Map or have been used or who have been using AutoCAD Map for some time. There's a lot that Map can do, and we want to show people how to exploit these features. We'll start off though in this first training course just looking at the map interface layout. If you are a traditional AutoCAD user, you may be somewhat horrified at the new menu layout. Uh, for instance, we have View, Create, Modify, Analyze, Setup. It's not quite as scary as it initially seems. Through Create, we have your traditional line commands, poly com polyline commands, etc. But I know that when people move your menu command items around, it can be really difficult and hard to get used to it again, especially if you've been using AutoCAD for some time. So what we can do, and probably the, the main lesson to learn here, is under the View pull-down, we can actually go down to the menu, t menu toolbar layout and we actually have a choice of three different menu layouts. At the moment we're in the Map 3D for Drawing menu. Uh, this is really just a reworked AutoCAD, standard AutoCAD menu with some extra commands in there for Map. Uh, designed really for new users, people who aren't familiar with AutoCAD. Uh, we have another menu similar to this one called Geospatial for when you're linking out to uh, external d uh, data sets in their native format uh, for instance ArcSG, Oracle, Shapefiles etc. You could spend quite a lot of time in using that menu and we have the Mac class Classic menu which we're going to jump to at the moment so just click on that and in comes the Classic menu, a whole series of toolbars let's just remove some of those for the time being and you'll see across the top now we have edit, view, insert, format, tools, the familiar standard AutoCAD menu. We actually have a new one down here where all of the map commands are sat. And there's a few commands hidden underneath file, etc. And you notice we also have this work area or the task pane here on the left hand side. At the moment it's hidden underneath all my toolbars. Actually, what I'll do is a quick tip here. We, I'm not sure if you're familiar with this, but we now have workspaces. In, in fact, these came in in AutoCAD 2007. And a workspace is really to, to save the look and feel of how you want to work, where you want your toolbars, etc., to be. Uh, if you haven't got this uh, toolbar in, right click on the main menu, uh, right click on the toolbar menu somewhere. In fact, let me just hide that. Right click on the toolbar and unfortunately this is off screen now but you should have a toolbar called workspaces if it's not on toggle it on move it into a position you you like and what we can do now is come along here and save once you've removed all your toolbars you got your screen the way you like it to be give this a name and just save it i won't save it now because i've already saved mine but i'll just go to gary and in comes my menu, i.e. with all the toolbars extra removed the way I like it. Simple and easy to do. Now, we can get to this area now on the, right, on the left hand side. Uh, this is known as the task pane and if the commands are not available in the map pull down, they'll be available in the task pane. The task pane itself is divided into three separate areas. The display manager, which is how data appears. You, uh, what color lines it is, the order in which it appears uh, on the screen, whether how it's hatched, does it use transparency? Uh, the map explorer, which is used more for traditional CAD data, bringing the CAD data in from other drawings, uh, analyzing it, linking it out to uh, databases, etc. And map books, i.e., when you want to plot out a whole series of plots. Uh, for an area over and over again, generate a map book can save an awful lot of time. So this is your task pane. If you don't have a task pane there, all you have to do is go up to the view and click on task pane and it's gone. Task pane again and it appears. If you don't want the task pane to appear, we can go to map, down to options and on the right hand side here under startup options toggle it off and the task pane won't appear when you first go into AutoCAD. If you do want it, just toggle it back on. 
Well that's the end of this training course, a quick introduction on how to replace your menus back to familiar AutoCAD menus. In the next training course we'll be looking at some of the features in MAP. I do hope you join me then. Bye.